beats me. I shouldn't have called. But, Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Yeah, yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. The time together. Very important. I have to go. Miss me! Tja, und damit willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von GTA 5. Wo wir nun im letzten Part die Sache mit der Chemiefabrik abgeschlossen haben, haben wir dann auch noch Floyd und Debra gekillt. Und dann auch noch den Manager vom Strip Club erledigt und wo nun das Geschäft übernommen. Und nun befinden wir uns gerade vor der nächsten Nebenmission. Ja? Was ist denn? Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it, you wanna buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams, I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. How much you like? You like beautiful things though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy. Josh. Josh Bernstein. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. See, it's not really it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just it's a little something more awkward than that. Now. Lenny Avery. <laughs> he he was my best friend and now he has taken all of my clients all of them do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs that was easy she's worth it man i love you i love you i love you lenny avery Alright, muss ich ja mal kurz schauen. Ob das erste Schild sollte hier sein. <lacht> Weil ich habe das jetzt extra im Netz. Alright. Ne, dann schnappen wir uns ein Schild nach dem anderen und zerdeppern die mal. Allerdings sind das einige, liebe Freunde, die wir kaputt machen müssen. Es war halt nichts Spannendes, die Mission, aber ja, vollständigkeitshalber. So, als nächstes nehmen wir uns mal das Schild hier vor.
Sehr schön, damit haben wir schon mal das dritte. Doch, als nächstes nehmen wir uns nun das hier ins Visier, dann haben wir zumindest schon mal alles hier in der Stadt. So, als nächstes nehmen wir uns das Schild hier vor. Aber ich hoffe, dass es es wert, was wir hier tun. Ich muss mir auch genau merken, welche Schüler ich schon habe, weil sonst fahre ich nur im Zickzack. Nehmen wir uns als nächstes das hier vor. Gut, dass ich der Waffe mit dem Schalldämpfer besorgt habe, beziehungsweise schon eine habe. Oh, die nächsten sind ein bisschen weit verstreut, aber das kriegen wir schon hin. Alter! Blöde Kuh, pass mal auf, wie du fährst. Und ja, das war die, wo ich vorhin reingecrashed bin. Oh, das sehe ich erst jetzt. Du hast ja den Teddybär von denen mitgenommen. Von Debra und Floyd. Alter. Mhm. 
Mhm. Das hätten wir damit auch schon mal. Jetzt das nächste. Genau, jetzt bleiben nur noch diese sechs hier. Würde ich sagen, nehmen wir das zuerst, dann das, dann bam, 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 bam. Doch, so fahren wir. Das ist eine gute Rundfahrt. Weil sonst würde ich nur im Zickzack, wie gesagt, fahren. So, das haben wir auch abgerissen, jetzt das hier. Ah ja, ich muss zugeben, das hier ist auch eine Mission, die... ...naja, ist... Aber gut, mal was anderes, ne? Abwechslung ist ja auch nie verkehrt. Aber ich denke mal, dass wir die nächste Mission mit Trevor, ja, dass ich die auch noch hinbekomme. Ich muss mal den Wagen wechseln. Die Karre von Trevor taugt nichts mehr. Oh ja, die Karre ist auch ein bisschen schneller. So, das haben wir damit nun auch. Alter, ich bin schon ziemlich lange an den Schildern dran, das sehe ich gerade. Ich sollte mal einen ganzen Zahn zulegen. So, das Schild haben wir jetzt auch abgerissen. Jetzt kommt das hier. Und dann sind wir gleich durch, Freunde. Ein Glück. Nehmen wir uns als nächstes das und dann nur noch das linke und dann haben wir es. Du bist selber einer. Baby, was are you doing? Neighbors are gonna see this. You're always at that fucking golf course. You're a goddamn lunatic. 
So. Das hier dürfte jetzt das letzte sein. Dann haben wir alle. Sehr schön. Sehr schön. Wir haben es, Freunde. Alle Schüler sind zerstört. Würde ich sagen, kämpfen wir mal zurück zum guten Strip Club. Denn jetzt beginnt ja wohl die Vorbereitung zum großen Ding. Aber willst du den Guten nicht mal anrufen und sagen, dass es erledigt ist, mein Bester? Und weißt du was? Ich mach's selber. Mist, Kerl. Geht nicht ran. Avery hat bloß noch so wenige Schüler, dass man glauben konnte, er wäre aus dem... Raus aus dem Marketinggeschäft. Komm zu mir ins Billingsgate Motel in East LS. Nein, ich komme nicht zu dir, mein Bester. Ich mache jetzt, wie versprochen, erstmal die Mission in Trevor's Laden. Sollte da noch ein bisschen Zeit sein, werde ich dir helfen. Erstmal was trinken. Oh! Ausspähen des großen Dings. Ja, er hat ihn wirklich kalt gemacht und ihn in den Kühlschrank gepackt, ey. Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. Right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just gonna live here. I'm gonna run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon. The old manager. Leon? I didn't... No. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> so what's, going on on what's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed. And lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. <laughs> 
Oh, Trevor, hey. Come in, you there? Alright, we're on a strict schedule. And there's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests that we go down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 1530. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So, we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Mm. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. Help! Wow. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Gut schaffte den Hintereingang aus. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh. Well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clock. Zum Flugplatz. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I can help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. Why do you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Trevor weiß ja nichts davon, dass Brad tot ist. Ja, wie gesagt, damals am Anfang. Es hätte Trevor erwischen müssen, aber Brad ist dann in seine Richtung gelaufen, hat dann halt die Kugel abbekommen. Steig in den Hubschrauber. Do they call it a wasting disease, cause you waste people's time? Move it! Fliegt nach Maria Heights. Boah, aber ich freue mich, Leute. The big one. 1330. We're an hour down, two to go. Mike's observations. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good boy. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. So far, yeah. The security is internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Mm -hmm. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Alright. Also gibt es zwei Teams. Das eine, was dann da unten ist, und das zweite, was draußen die Cops ablenkt. In, Könnte klappen. Them, Ah, the same 
Vorsicht, wir dürfen nicht zu nah dran sein, sonst bemerken die uns wohl noch. Na, gleich dürften die bei der Unit Repository sein, ist nicht mehr weit. Aber stimmt, die suchen nach einer Möglichkeit, ob wir die Transporter nicht vielleicht auch unterwegs wohl kapern können, nehme ich an. Sehr schön. Bring Franklin zu seinem Haus. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? Well, there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met a man that I knew scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. 
don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. So my best set up and All right, I'll am. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. <lacht> oh, eine Mission bei Michael. Na okay, Freunde, die eine Mission, da machen wir eben noch. Und ja, ich erinnere mich jetzt wieder an die Mission da bei Michael. Die wird crazy, liebe Freunde. Entschuldigung. Blanket out. Oh, there you are. There you are. Tony. Tony, wasn't it? Here I am. You taught that bastard. Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, you earned it. Room nine. She's right up there. Go for it, man. She, she's, she's. <laughs> well, you just knock yourself out. Okay. Ja, moin. Ja, viel Spaß, Trevor. Hey. Whew. Hope you had a good time up there, Tony. <laughs> listen, listen. I don't know if you feel up for it or anything, but uh, maybe you could go give Lenny a wake-up call. This is what he looks like right here. Okay. Now, I think you can find him. He'll be doing some showings over at Rockford Hills today. I'll give him more than a wake-up call. That's it. That's it. I love you. I love you. I love you, man. Love ya. Find the Avery and walk for it. What a great day this is turning into all of a sudden. <laughs> Nicht nur ein toller Tag, auch ein geiles Game nach wie vor. 
Ach ja, ich freue mich schon auf den sechsten Teil, auch wenn er noch ein paar Jahre in der Zukunft liegt. Oh, Josh. Das ist nicht mein estate broker. Tony, Buddy, are, are you in Rockford Hills yet? Almost. Good. I, I, I forgot to tell you. Avery drives a green Comet. Nah, don't worry, I'll find him. And after I scare the living shit out of this guy, I get some more, uh, bouncy, right? Oh, oh yeah, of course. But, but, uh, Tony, Tony, listen, I, I kind of told him that you were coming. So much for the element of surprise. I want him to know who's behind the pain that he's about to experience. Uh, listen, I gotta go. Don't let me down, bud. Na toll. Also weiß er Bescheid, dass wir kommen. Grüner Komet. Hey you, facelift! Come here a second. What did you call me? Have you seen an old guy with a green comet? Lenny Avery. Lenny? He got me a deal in a nine-bed Tudor Tuscan last year. I saw him showing that house just up the street on the left. Say hi from Rosalind. Oh, I will. Hey, Avery, where will you go? Mann, ist der schnell. Soll man den denn kriegen, Alter? Der hat einen höllen Speed drauf. Da ist er. Time for you to really feel the effects of the housing crisis. Lenny, pull over. Let's talk. You stay the hell away from me. I have a message from Josh Bernstein. Shit, no. Get out, Lenny. Don't make this any worse than it already is. Oh, God, this can't be happening. What do you want? Did I sell you a property in the North Chumash development? Stay away from Josh's business, or next time I will be so gentle. Okay, okay, I got it. It's not supposed to intimidate me, because it's working. Message received, okay? Just put the gun down. Geht doch. Danke schön. <lacht> so, dann geben wir den guten Mann noch eben Bescheid. So, dann geben wir Josh eben nochmal Bescheid. Na komm. Trevor, ruf ihn an oder er soll uns anrufen. Ja, das war mal was. Besser zumindest als die erste Mission. Ich helfe mal ein bisschen nach.
Naja. Er wird sich schon melden. Und wie es dann hier in GTA 5 weitergehen wird, das finden wir im nächsten Part heraus. Also, bis dann. Tschüss.